All right, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing y'all another cut spring video. I've done it quite a few times on my channel and now I'm doing it to this thing. Well, I've had this car for quite a while and I finally got it legal. It is like March 6th, 2020 and I got this thing November of 2018. So I've had this bitch for a minute and it is finally legal and running and driving and I've finally started driving it and now I'm going to lower it for the first time obviously but uh I did not want to lower it until I had it all running and driving and everything just because of I had to take the engine out two times once to rebuild it and another time to uh, paint the engine bay and do all that because I literally was tired of having it sit and I wanted to do something to it. So I painted the engine bay and everything and now that I no longer have to get under it and have that hassle of having to jack it up like I have to do with my Subaru since I lowered it, I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. Not a whole lot because she is going to be daily driving it so I don't want it to be super slammed because I don't want her to miss or hit a pothole, like not avoid it and just fuck shit up. So. All I'm gonna do is, uh, since these are the stock wheels with some pretty wide wall tires, uh, I'm not gonna go too low. Uh, as you can see in the front, I'm gonna get an exact measurement. We're about four fingers in the front, and I'm gonna bring this down right about here. So I'll be cutting maybe an inch or two off the front, and then the back is a whole different story. It's like more than a fist. So I'm probably gonna be taking that down like three inches so if we go to the front it is about 26 and a half inches off the ground and if we go to the back it is about 27 and three quarters spring that I cut at the bottom but you want to try to get it out if you can so I've had to cut the spring again in half because it's coiled up like that and so you can't pull it out so I've had to cut it like there so I had two pieces to actually get out but I don't think I'm able to just pull this piece out it is now going to be lowered in the front so that's a plus so you can see we have the other spring that is not doing anything, but it is attached like right here. And that is not enough to get out. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting it right here. That way I can pull the two halves out and then have this new spring just be set. I think I can spin this too, because I can make it sit right here exactly where the other spring set just by twisting it, unless it's sitting up top perfectly. I just gotta get this piece out now. So I use this bike. Oh, shit. What? Alright, well, I got part of it out, but I think I fucked up. And I still have. But. I'm good. So that is what we cut off. It goes like that. I don't know, but we now have a cut screen on the front. In the back, I think this part is smaller right here than the middle. Because if I were to cut it, like here I think it would just fall out you know and then unspring itself completely so let me diagnose this a little bit so you can see that 
and then it turns out there's a little tab that has extra bolts on it so I only had that little top piece loosened up not that so I'm gonna loosen those and then it should fall out so I couldn't get this thing out so it's stuck right here so I figured it's a good time to go ahead and decompress the spring since I'm gonna be uh, cutting it anyways I might as well take the compression out and it's just gonna shoot up against it Like a live missile. Well, uh, that is about how much we cut off. Do that over there. Now all we gotta do is put this beach uh, back on this thing.
Alrighty, here we go. You can definitely see a big improvement. The back it is tucking. This bitch lowered for sure. It ain't slammed, but it's good for, damn, my fucking toe hook ain't hitting the ground. Mud flaps still got quite a bit of room. I can honestly go quite a bit lower in the back if I wanted to. The front, I don't know yet. But she looking fucking mint. Get a good fucking picture right there. Alrighty guys, well it's the next day. I just wanted to show the car in some natural light. So let's go walk over to it in its parking spot and see El Tucko. looks like not too shabby at all well that is it for the video guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here so uh hopefully you like that uh follow my two instagrams and um like subscribe comment and motherfucking uh peace